Hello YouTube, and welcome back to Handforged Gaming. I'm Dutchman26, and this is episode 2 of our Naval Actions Beginner's Tutorial. Now, if you remember, if you've watched last time, we talked mainly about sailing and fighting, and just covered the basics. And I gave you some homework, if you remember, it was to keep grinding missions until you have, I believe it was 50k, $50,000. And that'll give you enough to do the next step that we're going to talk about in this video. If you haven't watched that, you can click the link in the description and watch that. I do suggest watching that first if you are a beginner player. Now, disclaimer, I'm not the, the utmost expert at this game. I've played it for over a year and a half, so I know enough about it. Uh, but anyway, there are different opinions. If you have them, please let me know in the comments. If you have other game styles, I'd love to hear about them. So anyway, this is just how I do it. So today, we're going to be talking about making money. Money is the biggest aspect of this game. If you don't have money, you don't have ships. If you don't have ships, you can't fight. If you can't fight, this game is worthless. So, as you see, I have uh, been grinding away for the last week, and I'm at 314,724 gold. Now, that's not a lot for a lot of you expert players out there who have millions by now. I've been playing it very casually. And I actually got that all in the last two days. So I'm going to walk you through the five main ways you can make money. And as a beginner, uh, you can definitely do these ones. It might take a little longer, but you can definitely do them. All right, the first one is battles or missions, just like I talked about in episode one. All right, up here, the missions tab, you select combat orders. You select the difficulty if you're a thief. So it's probably good to select Thief. You can see your rank right up here. I could go to Demon right now. Actually, I can't go to Demon. Why is it not on me? There we go. I could go to Demon right now, but the ships that's going to spawn are a lot stronger than the ships I have. So you can just uh, pick one that you feel good with. Um, right now, I could do probably Plunder or Raider. I could do Raider right now. But I went over those in detail last episode, so if you have any questions, refer back to that. Now, again, a reminder, if you sink, you don't get the money, so make sure you don't sink. And make sure you try to get as much damage as possible done to the enemy ship. That means more money. Alright, the second way is pirateering traders or attacking other traders from other nations. If you find some areas where there's a lot of commerce, like right here I'm in Mortimer Town, and yes, I am a pirate. Pirate's life for me, arg. There's a free town here, Bator 2. A lot of times traders will run in between here, or in between here and Baracoa. Now, I can just patrol out here outside, more, outside of Mortimer Town and pick up Trader Briggs, pr Trader Snows, Trader Lynxes of other nations, and I can attack them, and once you sink them, you run up to them like I showed in the last mission, slow down to under 3.5 knots right beside them, push the X key, and you can loot their hold. That's a good way of making money, because not only do you get the money from the cargo, you also get the money from the combat, and you get experience points as well as combat marks. So that is number two. Number three, trade runs. Now, this is the name I've given to it. Trade runs are basically runs that you find and do yourself. There are trade runs that are under the missions tabs right here delivery orders is what they're called um, right now i'm going to be focusing on trade runs that you find yourself so if you don't know if you hit m that takes you to the map over here on the left side there's this bar go down there's a trader tool it gives you a little slot here where you can type in any anything like oak it will show you all the different things of oak I'm going to type in oak log. You go and you select it. It will show you every single port in the entire map. And it will show you the distance to that port from where you are, how much that oak log is selling for, and how much you can buy it for. Now if you select these, like right now I have it sorted from the closest to me all the way to the furthest. So if I look here at Mortimer Town, I can buy it for 57 gold. And then look right down here, Little Inagua, right up here, I can sell it 
Where'd it go? For 60 gold. Now, that's 3 gold. That's not a lot. But when you're beginning out and you don't have much money, that's a good way to go. Buy as much oak as you can fit in your hole. Come on over here, sell it. Make a little money. Then, when you're in Inagua, you look through what they've got in the store, do the same type of thing. So here, I'll show you how to do this. I go to the shop, go to the resources. Look through here. Okay, is there anything? Let's say I only had 10 grand I could spend. I'm like, okay, well, let's let's find that the most expensive thing I could possibly buy. Oh, well, that's a little too much. That's right around 10 grand. Okay, I could get that. I could get some of that. Let's see, is there anything real close to 10 grand? 800, 800, okay. We'll go over here. That was teak log. I type in teak log. There it is. So like that. Cycle to be distance wise. So I'm buying it for 389 in Mortimer. Is there anything close to me where I can sell it for a profit? Nope. So that's not a good one to go with. Alright, let's keep going. Let's see. How about fur log? Fur log. I can buy it for 37. Sell it here at Islet for 39. Another here for 40 at uh, this go. Um, Les Gonaives. I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry, guys. Um, so that's not a huge, huge margin. So I'm going to find some. Okay, stolen goods. Right here. This is a pirate produced product. Um, and I can afford this. Now I know that this sells well because it's only produced in the pirate nation. So uh, 2475. So I'm going to go look up that one. M. Trader tool. Stolen goods right there. And cycle the distance again. Okay, so I can buy it for twenty four seventy five, right here. Ocean bite, right there. Blight bite, there. I can sell it for twenty eight. So right there, that is a little less than four thousand profit. So yeah, I would fill up my hold with that and go just right around the corner here, sell it, and you make a good penny. Let's keep going down and see if there's anything significant. No, nothing significant. Yeah, well, well right here's a pretty good one. La Tour 2, so this one right here. If I buy right here, 2475, sail down to Tor 2, it's going to take about 15 minutes. If the wind is good, you can sell it for 30,000. That's about 5 grand. Great, you just added 5 grand per product. And if you have 10 grand to spend, you could buy 4 of them. So there's 20 grand. All right, let's do another example. Let's find something now. Let's, let's try hmm, compass wood right here. Compass wood. We'll, we'll look at that. Compass wood. Okay, we can buy it for 382. That doesn't look right. Okay, compass wood. I can buy it for 200 because there's a, a player selling it on a contract. So, even though this says 382, I can actually buy it for three. So, let's keep three in mind. Anywhere I can make a profit? Well, I could sell the Cap Francais, which is way over here, and make 20 gold profit. That's not really worth it. Yeah, this one doesn't look like it's worth it. So, that's one thing I can do. Now, after this last patch, there are not as many opportunities for significant margins when you're trading like this. So this is going to take a while to get some, some good money. But if you're just starting out, this is a great way to do it. Especially if you find, right, find routes like I just said, like right here. I mean, it'll take you all five minutes. Same here. All five minutes. And you can just do that all day with this, for as long as the um, we only got 27 available, but, you know, hey, for as long as the supplies last and you have the time, you can do that. Now, if you're not finding anything that way, you can let the game tell you what to trade. Now, these are delivery orders. You go right up here to the missions tab, same place you would go for the combat orders. Go down to delivery orders. Now, each of these is a delivery order you can take. You can take up three delivery orders. Right here, deliver 16 silver coins to La Navas, and you get 6,513 gold for doing that. 
So let's just think about that. Silver coins. Okay, well, let's let's go back to this door. All right, silver coins. And Oh, and right here is a search bar. You can type in what you're looking for. And uh, that'll show you. Okay, so they don't have silver coins. So you're thinking, how in the world am I supposed to do that? Well, these orders do not take into account what is in the port that you are currently in. These are just simply orders. This is as if a merchant in La Navas or, or Atwood or wherever these are to are saying, hey, we want 16 silver coins and we'll pay you 6500 for it. Now, how are you going to find out where to get 16 silver coins? Well, there's where my little cheat comes in. Go to Google Chrome, and I actually didn't save this, so but I'm just going to type in Naval Action Shop Prices right there. Open that first one, Naval Action Craft. Now here's a little tool. I love this thing. You select the server you're on. I'm on PvP Global. You select what nation you want to filter by. I'm going to do Pirates because I want to stay pretty close to my home base. Hit the filter. Now, what was it we were looking for? I forget. Um, silver coins. That's right. Silver coins. Okay. So right here, you're going to type in silver coins. Silver coins. Ba-doop. Drop this down. Okay, now right here, it shows you every harbor in pirate territory that currently has silver, silver coins in stock. Little Harbor, 64. Port Howe. Mortimer Town, 89. Mortimer Town had 89. Okay, I didn't see any in Mortimer Town. I could have missed it. However, this is a good cheat early in the morning. Okay, or in the beginning, probably quarter of your day. This site updates once a day, I believe. Once players start moving stuff around and products get shifted from port to port, this is not accurate. So you want to make sure that you don't just go blindly based on what you see here. So, uh, Parrot K, it says it has 53. Okay, cool. Well, uh, you could go check that out and see. Um, so one way to, to figure out if it's accurate or not, Mortimer Towns. Says we have 89 there. Let's go see if we can find them. I didn't see them. I could have missed them. Gold coins. Yeah, we don't have any silver coins. It's in consumables, I think. Our materials. Yeah, no silver coins. Okay, so that's definitely not an option right now. So, but that is a good way to figure out where stock is located on the first half of your day. So, anyway, but also, those are places where, for the most part, um, they will spawn again. Not always, but sometimes. Especially, uh, like, La Esmerada, if you're in 22, this is, La Esmerada is most likely a producer of gold coins. So, keep that in mind. If you're ever up that way, you might be able to grab some gold coins. So, that's number two. Now, oh, just to keep going on this, um, to, uh, you select it and hit Take Order. And we'll pop it right over here. Now what you go what you do is you sail around gathering up 16 silver coins. Once you get them, you go down to La Navas, which in this case is way down here. This would be a pretty big sail. And it's kinda it's all in French territory right here, French and British, so uh, those are my enemies, so that would be a risky sail. So I don't want to do that now, but just for sake of argument. Um, when you go there, you hit the delivery orders, you hit deliver order. And you click it, and uh, this won't pop it up, but it'll give you a little slider, and you can drop all your inventory of silver coins into it and close out the order, and you'll get paid. So that is number four. Number five is what a lot of the top players do, is production. You sell what you produce. Now, a lot of guys, go up here to the Ships tab, are selling ships. See this little name here? It means that this trader's length was crafted by Slick Willy. And this trader's links was crafted by Jarloff Moreau. Now, if you ever get ships from Jarloff, he's a good crafter. He knows what he's doing. So, thumbs up to you, dude. It takes a long time to work up to crafting ships. There's a lot of expense involved. There's a lot of time involved. We'll go into a whole crafting thing later. If you go back to the home screen, in your hometown, select the Outpost tab. Um... You won't see any of this when you're first starting out. You will just see a slot like this. This is buy permit. What you're doing is you're buying a permit to open a 
outpost in this town. That when you the places you have an outpost in are places where you can build production buildings. So you would hit the buy permit, confirm, then it would give you the option to build an outpost. You would do that again. It's 10 grand to build an outpost. And I believe the first permit is 10 grand. So you need 20 grand to do that in the beginning. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. So I've opened it up here. Great. You open it up. You're good to go. Then you go down to buildings. And again, you won't see any of this. You'll just see slots like this. So you hit the build button. It will show you everything you can build right there in that town. And it usually is 10,000. Yeah, it is 10,000 to build um, the production things like this. So a fir forest. Let's see. Uh, 10,000 gold, it produces 903 fur logs per day. Now it will do that automatically. And it can store up to 2709. Okay, cool. So if I confirm this and I built this, I come back tomorrow, I'm going to have fur here in Mortimer. Okay, great. Well, what good does that do me? Can I sell it? Well, let's see. Can I sell it? Go back to the trader tool. Fur log. All right, so Mortimer Town. I could sell it for 19. I can tell you right now that's not going to cut you a profit. Okay? So, here's what I suggest. Now, let's say you did. You did build that fir forest. Okay? Um, like right now. I have an oak forest. Okay, we'll just use that. To harvest, like right now I have 2170 sitting there ready for me to harvest. In order to harvest them, you have to go to the craft menu. Resources. Select what you want. Select the building you want to use. And then you can craft. Now you see, it's it's not only taking my labor hours, which is a commodity here that will decrease as I craft, so you can only do so much a day, but it's also taking gold. So let's say I wanted to craft 50. Let's just go and even, uh, there we go. Well, won't do 50. 52. That's going to cost me 37.96. Okay, what, what was it selling for? Well, let's see. It was selling for 19. 19. So if I did... Uh, what did I say? 52? Is that what I said? Yeah, if I do 52, and you multiply that by 19, well, you've made $988. That doesn't even come close to covering the cost. Okay, so what I suggest you do is you come over here to... Actually, I'm going to just do this. I'm going to search for oak. Oak planks. Here we go. Oak planks take... 30 oak logs. Okay, so I have eight right now. Um, I am actually going to go back to my resources. Oak log. I am going to craft a couple just so we can... I'm going to need them in the future anyway, so just so we can have something to work with. So let's say you have gotten an oak forest or a fir forest or whatever, and you have produced some, you have harvested them. Now you need to make that money back. Uh, Shipbuilding is where I was. Oak planks. Um, let's see what, how oak planks sell for. Oak planks, okay, well, let's see. Hey, look, that's a little better, 38. Let's see, how many can I build? Oak planks, all right. I need 30 oak logs, so how many can I produce? I can produce 150. 150, now, I spent about 30 grand on that. So, I got 150 oak planks. And how much will I sell them for? I will sell them for 38. Okay, that's not quite covering my cost, but if you take those oak planks and you go to one of these other harbors that you can find here, we will make a profit. Alright, like if I went right around to here, I might make a profit. So let me just show you what I am doing right now, and that might give you some ideas of what to do. Currently, I have an iron ore mine in Little Inagua right here. I have an oak forest in Mortimer Town and a lignum vitae vitale forest in Baracoa. Now, if you are... Okay, so here, here's a tip. I'm just going to give you a freebie. If you create a lignum forest in Baracoa... Let's look it up so you can see the proof. You can simply craft the log. You don't have to craft them in anything else. Right here, Baracoa. And you can sail them all the way here to Mortem Town, sell them for 164 a piece, and it only costs you about 70 per log when you craft them in quantity. So if you're crafting, I think, 50 or more, it's going to cost you about 70 per log 
you can bring it right up to Mortimer, suffer 164. So if you're a pirate, you're playing here, great, go do it. So what I'm doing is I go and I harvest my iron, I harvest my oak, and I bring them to Mortimer, and I craft, let's get rid of that, I craft hole repairs. Okay, it takes 250 oak planks, 200 iron ingots. Now, you're looking right here at this blueprint of what it needs. You're like, okay, well, what do I need to make iron ingots? Well, you can click on this, and it will take you into what you need. You need 20 iron ore, 5 charcoal. Okay, well, what do I need to get charcoal? Click on charcoal, it will tell you. So, I've gone through and done the math at the basic level. It takes me about, about 40,000, 35 to 40,000, depending on prices, to make... Uh, to make 50 hole repairs but I can sell each hole repair for a thousand minimum and uh, so there I make 10 grand each time that's how I made a good majority of that so those are my tips I will have more coming that's just really quick things for you to go make some money so your homework for today make some money okay spend a day or two grinding make some money I first would suggest you start out looking through the resources and then going M to the map, trader tool, typing in the resource you can afford, and seeing where you could sell it for a profit. Just keep doing that until you have enough to, feel, to fool with buildings or with, uh, with the missions. If you don't find anything you can sell, hey, go to another port. Okay, I know for a fact you can buy rig repairs in an islet and sell them for a profit in Mortimer Town. And don't, don't forget, you're not only looking at the resource tab, you can also look at the material tab and the consumable tab. So, a little pro tip for you. So that's your homework. Go make some money, okay? Hopefully right now you should be at about 50 grand. So next time, let's get that up to 100 grand, guys, okay? Go for the biggest margins, but don't put all your eggs in one basket. If you've got 10 grand, and you come here, and you go, okay, well, or let's say you got 11 grand. You go, okay, hey, I can buy these Languadoc violins, and that's almost all my money. It leaves me with uh, four, two, I don't know. I'm not good at mental math. Anyway, it leaves me with a little bit of money. Yeah, I'll buy one of these and I'll go sell it for a profit. Okay, cool. That's great. You get there, you're going to make your money. But what if you don't get there? What if you get sunk? Well, now you're down to practically zero. You lost your ship. You're starting over. Okay? That will happen. Be prepared. It will happen. It's happened to me. It's happened to everybody. It's just part of the game. If you want a fun, easy game, it's not, this is not the game for you. This is a game for those guys who like Age of Sail games, who like realism. This game is very real. So, I would, if you had only 11 grand, don't do that. Do something like this where you could get, you know, still a good return on your money, but not put all your eggs in one basket. So, that's your homework. And until next time, keep sailing. Arrgh!